Yo, hi there guys and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be delving into the lurky and dark side of the Hollywood showbiz industry. And uh, I'm going to be basically giving you some information and uh, just telling you exactly how it works, uh, what we've uh, you know, it's a lot of people in Hollywood, they end up dying early in age. You've only got to look at people like Michael Jackson, um, Tupac, Biggie, uh, loads of like Elvis, loads of, loads of them, you know, you'd think they've, they've got all that money, you know, and for some strange reason, they tend to die very early in their, their life. And, uh, I think I'm going to basically just give you the quick facts of what I've been reading about and what I've found out because I've been doing a lot of researching. Um, so let's get into the video. So basically what it is, is uh, someone uh, becomes famous in Hollywood or in the music industry or in the NBA, etc, etc. Uh, um, now they get into that way of living a good life and everything's going well for them but then they get a letter from um basically it's from the dark side of hollywood um it's basically the sort of freemason people and um, the letter basically tells them like the rules of what they've got to abide by and if they don't abide by these rules then um, they will have to be sacrificed. So what it is, is um, what I've been reading on is that like every six years, um, so say, say someone who's about 20 or 22, whatever, or 30, 40, whatever age you are basically, um, once, you've, once you've been in Hollywood, as soon as you've started, from the moment you start fame and fortune, on the, on the first day basically, whatever day it is, six years after that, from when you first became famous, six years after you first became famous, you have to make a sacrifice. You have to sacrifice somebody you know, um, or like, uh, so that could even be a friend, or it could be um, like a family member. Um, they basically, they have to make a sacrifice. And uh, they don't necessarily have to do it themselves, but if they, if they do it themselves, then they don't have to make another sacrifice for 12 years. But if they get someone else to do it, then they have to make a sacrifice every six years to someone else, basically. So, for example, say you got into the industry, and say you became like a good, like an actor, you became an actor at the age of 22. So when you hit 28, you, ha you have to sacrifice someone um, to, to stay, basically, in money so you so you so you don't go broke or so you don't die now um if you decide you don't want to do that you don't want to do neither you don't if you don't want to make a sacrifice you decide you do not want to sacrifice someone because you think it's evil and which most people would do then um basically that the freemasons will decide your fate they'll decide if you should die or if you should just become broke um so that's basically why you see a lot of people. I mean, it's not, it's not the, the amount of people that die, die in, in the Hollywood industry, you know, become famous. It's, it's mesmerizing. It's not like a, it's no coincidence. And I've always thought this. I thought, how can someone have all that money and everything, everything's going well for them? And like they, they have like an accident or, you know, uh, they get a car crash or, to get like shot or, or you know to have like the, the, the like a Leah if you don't know if you know a Leah uh, the famous singer and uh, her plane crashed etc etc you know all these things tend to happen to uh, stars so it's really crazy and I was reading about it and anyway so basically the Freemason people uh, that's what they are and um, the demon god Baal, he will, he will, he will decide uh, your fate and what you should do. Now, if you decide that you don't want to, that, yeah, if you decide that you, you want to make a sacrifice, 
then I'll give you an option. You'll say, right, do you want to do it yourself or should we get someone to do it for you? Now, if you decide to get someone to do it for you, then you do have to pay, uh, I think it's £666,000. But if you do it yourself, that, by the way, is 666. You see? You see these clues, what I'm noticing? Now, if you decide you don't want to do that, if you decide you want to do it yourself, so then if you, the advantages of doing it yourself is that you don't have to make another sacrifice to someone you love uh, for 12 years instead of six. So most people end up doing it themselves. Now, uh, I was just on the Profit Muscle um, uh, website. I know the man's capping. The man's a cap hard. He caps hard. And uh, a lot of people saying that um, Jay-Z wants to sacrifice Ye. Because now Ye was big friends with Jay-Z. They grew up together. They got... Uh, they share the same um, record label, they're making good tunes, you know. Uh, Ye produced uh, Jay-Z's Blueprint albums and a few loads of others. But since it's gone a bit sort of, how can I put it, uh, not completely uh, compensmentous, since it's gone like that, Jay-Z's thinking, well, I've got to sacrifice someone. And it's got to be close to me, and because he doesn't want to go, you see, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want. He's got his kids. He's got his family, so he desperately wants to get uh, Kanye West. Yay! He wants to get him, and he wants to um, sacrifice him. Um, now, if you if you'd seen the Balenciaga um, video, well, the, uh, the not the video, the uh, the ad campaign. You'd seen all the horrific things on that ad campaign. You've got like um, the, the kids in bondage gear, BDSM. You've got um, the court case uh, letter on the uh, on the uh, desk about uh, all that bad things, uh, what they're doing with the kids. Um, so basically, uh, they're saying like uh, there's basically a court case saying like we are like. They're, they're looking at, it's, been, it's like this court case has been written to them, so, so they're, they're the defendant. And there's some bad things, have, they've been doing bad things with kids, basically, you know, the, uh, the porn with the kids. So uh, all, that, all that coincides, that all relates to each other. Why do you think, why do you think, uh, why do you think Kanye got cancelled? It all happened all around the same time, you see. And the reason it happened all around the same time was because, um, Kanye West, he knew he was going to be sacrificed. So what he's done is he's had to say some crazy things. He's had to say some crazy things about um, Jewish people, yeah. And what that does is that takes this, that makes it look like someone is going to get him. You see, it makes it look like someone's going to get him because Kanye West knew he was going to be sacrificed. So because he's done that, it will look like it. If he does get killed. The person who there'll be like an investigation because it looks like someone is going to kill him because uh, he knew he was going to be sacrificed. But because he's done it that way, where he's, he's gone crazy, it brings the light on him, you see. So the police will look at it in a bigger way if he does get killed. So he's actually like doing that to stop himself from being killed, basically. Which is actually kind of smart. It's actually kind of smart. I'm not going to lie, it's actually a kind of smart thing. Um, now, Coming back to this Hollywood uh, thing, I mean, this, this Hollywood um, sacrifices that have been going on now, it's actually been going on for over 40 years. And basically it started uh, off, um, it actually started off as a mistake, but it started off because of um, the Rothschilds. Now they own all the banks in the world and they're like the richest family in the world. And um, they, they didn't like the fact that poor people or people with no money, like, uh, started getting money. Basically, they started getting like money like from an easy way. The Rothschilds people, the Rothschilds family, they want people, uh, they prefer, yeah, if everyone was broke and they were just rich. Because they didn't like the idea of like people that who had no money could suddenly become millionaires. 
and then once you become a millionaire you, you suddenly have like um, leverage on things you know and you, you, you can you've more tied in with the government and you start seeing extra uh, pockets and you start basically you become enlightened basically you become an enlightened person you start seeing the way of the world um, you start having bigger lawyers you can fight cases all that type of thing and the, Roth, the Rothschilds are very scared of that so they started the, the sacrificing to, to stop pe to stop all these people who weren't meant to be rich becoming rich like most people if you if you said to anyone in the street if you're going to be rich now yeah you can only be rich yeah but you have to do sacrifices you're not going to want to be rich are you so that's why they're doing it and they're trying to control uh they're trying to control the whole world basically um they're trying to make everyone who's like uh poor or who has very low income they want them to stay that way they don't want you to like improve uh, so basically that's pretty much it guys in a nutshell i just thought i'd share that with you because i was reading a few books and i was doing my research and uh, it's very disturbing it's a very disturbing thing um, I'm going to be delving more into this uh, later on uh, this week and I'll be back with a second video of it where I've researched a lot more things but that's just a little bit of the gist I've got from it for now so guys anyway if you like this video like comment subscribe uh, comment on my video if you'd like and I'll reply and I'll see you in my next video peace